For years, VW tried to compete with other manufacturers through OSUVs with its own two-row Touareg, which just didn't sell in the numbers that VW needed it to. Enter the Atlas, or you can call it the Atlast. With its arrival, Volkswagen finally has a proper three-row SUV to directly take on its competitors. Volkswagen launched the Atlas with a single powertrain, a 3.6-liter V6 engine mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Both front and all-wheel drive are available. A two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder will be available down the road, but only on front-wheel drive versions. Out on the road, the Atlas is competent, but wholly unremarkable. There isn't any of VW's sporty DNA in the Atlas. Rather than crisp, engaging handling, the VW feels like a big, overgrown coach. But don't be surprised, this is what buyers really want in their mid-sized SUV. The ride is firm and comfortable, but on rough surfaces, passengers get bounced around a bit. You feel a bit like a bobblehead, with your head rocking from side to side. Impressively, road, wind, and tire noise are kept to a minimum, and the cabin is luxury car quiet. Another bright spot is that V6 engine and transmission combination. They work well together, delivering plenty of creamy power to all four wheels. The transmission is a particular standout, given how many manufacturers have had problems with their own eight and nine speed gearboxes. This one shifts smoothly and smartly every time. Move inside, and the interior should be familiar to anyone who has driven the latest Passat or Jetta sedans. Yet here in the Atlas, the effort is better executed. Materials are nicer, with plenty of soft touch surfaces where your hands and elbows will land. There's a ton of space in the footwell, with abundant knee and leg room. You'd have to be NBA size to find the Atlas too small. In the SEL version we bought, front seat occupants are treated to large seats with a wide variety of electric adjustments. They're great for long trips, although the cushions aren't quite as firm as in past Volkswagen products. We really appreciate the way Volkswagen laid out the controls. Competitors like the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander spread their buttons and touch sensitive surfaces across the dash, as if it's a goal to use every surface possible. Not so with the Atlas. Drivers tall and short found the controls close at hand and easy to access. The touchscreen infotainment system is easy to use with big fonts and a clear display, and the redundant buttons help a lot. Toyota and Honda should spend some time benchmarking this system. Space for passengers and cargo is plentiful. The second row seats have enough room for three adults with abundant knee, toe, leg, and headroom. And there are enough power and charging ports to keep every electronic device fully juiced. Lift the leather on either outboard seat back and slide the seat forward, even if a child seat's installed, and you're greeted with a yawning abyss to the third row. The passageway is big enough for an adult to climb through, let alone a child. And that third row is very large, fine for adults and plenty roomy for kids. There's enough space for grocery bags or other items when the third row is raised, and folding down both rows of seats results in a large, flat cargo area. While it took VW a long time to get here, the Atlas does seem to check off all the boxes for a family-focused three-row SUV. It remains to be seen how the Atlas will perform in our road tests, as well as in terms of reliability. For more on SUVs, check out ConsumerReports.org.